Hey all here at OS Reviews, you're watching our video first look and a quick review of the Gatekeeper Halberd. This is the latest generation update of the Gatekeeper, the first gen which we saw about two years ago and that was really successful. There's a separate USB dongle or Bluetooth uh, that you can use to connect it to your computer with. The box is quite simple, it shows you a few supported systems like Windows, Mac, Android, and iOS if you want to use it with a smartphone, and there's just the uh, website on the back. The first thing that we see is the halberd presented on top, and we'll take a closer look at the design in a second, but just on first impressions, it uh, has a better construction quality, it also has a larger battery, which is still cell-based, but it should last you for a little longer this time, hopefully closer to a year and a half or two years before you need to replace it. And there's also the presence of a physical key on this unit. The previous one was completely flush, so the key means you can just tap to unlock if you don't want to use motion uh, or proximity to unlock, so there's a second Way to unlock your computer. Um, otherwise, contents include a quick start guide, which uh, is very small, just is printed in color, tells you how to very quickly set it up, how to insert the battery, and then download the software on the computer through the company's website. There's also the presence of a lanyard this time around, which is actually pretty useful. Um, so for companies uh, and people who are maybe just wearing this like a necklace, you can easily attach it onto the strap on the top and just uh, wear it around your neck, um, you know, or put it in your pocket like a keychain so that, again, it isn't obtrusive, but whenever you get close to your computer, it will automatically unlock. Down below here, this is a USB-based receiver for computers. The Bluetooth is only going to work with smartphones. And this is the battery, which is, again, a little bit larger. It's the 2450 this time, as opposed to a CR2035. So it's slightly larger in capacity. Other things that uh, Gatekeeper claims they've uh, improved upon on the Hellbird includes a faster processor, which uh, will help them with uh, the processing of the secure cryptographic keys being exchanged between this and the computer. So for authenticating that you know you are you, and you want to unlock the device. So that is the uh, software and the hardware built on in. There's also an accelerometer now for more precise motion detection. So again, uh, enhanced uh, internals in addition to a better overall build quality. So let's take a quick look at the uh, design now. Um, again, the entire body of the unit is crafted out of a soft touch rubber material. It's actually still very lightweight, but it feels grippy and it prevents it from getting any dust or scratches over time. The chrome part is actually made out of aluminum and metal, so it is uh, quite durable. Then there's just the battery compartment, which you need to actually remove to put in the cell battery you saw in the box, since there isn't one pre-installed. I do wish there would be two, just as a you know backup, but uh, it is what it is. And there's also a small LED light that will tell you the status uh, when you tap and hold on the key for the first time to power the unit on and to begin the pairing process. So overall, construction quality of the Halberd uh, seems to be quite good. Moving into the software, you can simply download it through the gkchain.com website and under software, you can find it as a free download for both uh, Windows and Mac. And it will automatically detect the version of the computer, 32-bit or 64-bit, and install the right version. So we take a look at the uh, software for the computer first. Uh, after it's installed, it takes just about three minutes or so. This is what the gate Keeper dashboard looks like. Uh, it's a pretty simple interface and it will automatically begin on the boot up sequence next time that your computer starts so that uh, it can replace the traditional password or fingerprint unlock. Um, so the interface here under settings, you can see that I have my user info. So it tells me my signal strength. If it's high, that means it's very close by to the computer. If it's low, it, mean, it means that it's further away. So right now the keychain is right here and you can see that it's pretty high. As I get further and further away from the USB port that it's plugged into, it's going to get lower and lower. Now the signal strength uh, does also depend on kind of uh, objects in between. So if I kind of squeeze it or hold my hand over it, you can see it also starts to drop. However, if it's in your pocket, if it's hanging around your neck, it works perfectly well. And once you are sitting down by the desk, it's uh, close enough to unlock. And if you walk away, it will be uh, low, so it's going to automatically lock your computer by default. It also tells me my battery status, and I can also change the uh, sensitivity. So if I want to have the computer uh, lock when it's relatively far away or relatively closer, I can adjust this bar to change the sensitivity measure. Um, I can also update my credentials, create a new key, uh, or change the key, things like that. Under lock options, you can also toggle uh, some of the keys and controls. So right now I have it set so that the button here is going to 
lock the computer whenever I tap on it. So tapping on it once will lock it. Since it's very close by, it's uh, going to automatically unlock. But I can also set it, set it to log out uh, instead of locking the computer. So I can play around with these controls and change it, change the sensitivity as well, uh, change the uh, automatic mode. So automatically locks your computer when the gatekeeper is out of range, log out, uh, log out of in uh, log out of the user instead of just locking the session. So it gives you some of those things to, to tweak around. Under unlock options, I can uh, choose between only using my regular Windows password for login or fingerprint, and I can do automatic, which again logs in automatically whenever the gatekeeper is close enough. I can also do touch login, so the, the gatekeeper has to touch the nano receiver physically and be really close, like this for it to unlock instead of just being close by to the body. And I can do pin plus gatekeeper on login. So this is the highest security that uh, allows you to, requires you to both be really close by in addition to typing in a custom pin uh, that you have to set up to unlock it. So you can change these things and uh, see how it functions. So for instance, if I wanna do touch uh, login, it's gonna ask me to enter my password again so that uh, it knows that it's me and now it's saved. So if I uh, lock it, the next time that I want to unlock it, you know, just being close by is not enough. I have to physically tap it to the receiver and now it's uh, unlocked. So let's try that one more time just to show you that, that it indeed actually works uh, pretty well. So zooming out of the laptop here, again, tapping it unlocks it. So pretty cool how that process works. The proximity sensor seems to actually be very sensitive uh, so far. Um, so that's basically the software uh, aspect of the uh, of the gatekeeper. It works surprisingly well. It's nicely optimized. And again, the, the company has rolled out consistent updates through the past two to three years since the first version was released. And it's been getting progressively better, cleaner, and uh, it doesn't take up that much memory management in the background. So it works really well. And it seems to be quite secure. And indeed, it saves you a lot of convenience and a lot of time uh, for most IT professionals and business people. Um, the only one downside is it still uses that nano receiver instead of using, let's say, Bluetooth or some other type of technology. So if someone unplugs this from your computer, um, you basically still have to log in using a password. That's not making it less secure though, it's just, uh, you know, one potential downside of the entire system or package. Uh, the Bluetooth part really works uh, with the phone, so that is the app portion. Now the company is claiming to launch two new apps soon uh, once this hits markets uh, you know, in the, in the next few months, but uh, this is the original app that came out with the first and second generation gatekeepers I'm going to show you. It still works with the Hellbird. It's a very simple app, basically you just uh, tap to pair using Bluetooth now instead of the nano receiver, and you can then locate the gatekeeper by tapping on locate, and there's a very small speaker on the back that will start to ring to tell you, uh, you know, where it is so you can find it a bit more easily. Um, I can also use it to take a look at the proximity and uh, same thing, I can use this to lock the, the, the gatekeeper so that my computer is also locked. So the app of the uh, mobile interface is also pretty well thought out and easy to use. So that's the Gatekeeper Hellbird, a really clever gadget for unlocking your computer or smartphone using proximity and also cryptographic key exchange. So uh, hopefully the process is more secure than both setting a password as well as being more uh, efficient. Is it better than the original? For sure. It has a much better build quality, it has a better uh, battery performance, and uh, a faster processor that uh, all adds to a better user experience. However, is it worth the $15 or $20 more compared to the original if you already have it? Well, that would be up to you because uh, although it is again, much more premium, um, it still does basically the same thing the original does. Um, but again, if you are looking at this for the first time, I think that this is a great option to check out uh, if you haven't heard of Gatekeeper before. And their Kickstarter campaign and Indiegogo campaigns were very successful, so you'll be seeing this on their website and in stores very soon. You can check out more details about the Hellbird in our article, but for now, this has been our video. Thanks for watching here at OS Reviews. This was the Gatekeeper Hellbird Wireless Lock and Key for Computers.